The second way I want to talk to you about that the Holy Spirit speaks to us. God speaks to us through His servants. Morning Prayer with Pastor Sean Pinder. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible that was standing here only because you made you made a way. You made a way. We love you this morning, oh God. You made a way. We're standing, Lord. And we're standing here only because you move mountains and you move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing. You move mountains, you move mountains. You cause walls to fall, and with your power, perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. That's impossible. And we're standing. Father, as we get ready to go into this broadcast, Touch your people. Touch your people. Minister to them. Educate your, your people on spiritual things, spiritual matters. Help the Word of God come alive to them. Release your wisdom through your Word. Bring strength. Bring encouragement. Bring direction. In the mighty name of Jesus. Keep playing real soft. So listen, the second way I want to talk to you about that the Holy Spirit speaks to us, God speaks to us through his servants. He did through the prophet Isaiah, through Jeremiah, through Elijah, through Elisha, through the apostle Peter, James, John, through the apostle Paul. Listen, God is still speaking through his servants today. It's not the only way he speaks to us. But it's one of the main ways, other than the written word of God. A man and woman of God declaring to you the word of God, speaking to you under that unction and under that anointing of the Holy Spirit. Trust me, the voice of God's coming to you real strong. If you under an anointed man or woman of God's ministry, if you sit and listen to them, God will begin to speak to you. He will bring life to your dead situation. He'll begin to bring healing. He'll begin to bring wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus will go to another level if you are under a true man or woman of God. Are you hearing me? If you're listening to a real man or woman of God, you fall more in love with Jesus. You hunger for the true word of God. You don't want someone to tickle you and give you some trash that's out there. You want someone to come clean with you. You want them to be real and genuine. So listen. I want, to sh I want to read the word of God to you in the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 20, beginning at verse 13. That was a great victory that Jehoshaphat got. He fasted, he prayed, because the surrounding nations came against Jehoshaphat to try to eliminate and annihilate Israel under his leadership. So he called, he called the whole nation together to fast and to pray. And to seek the face of God. And as they were praying and crying out to God. Listen to what happens. The Bible says in verse 14 of 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Then upon Jehaziel the son of Zechariah. The son of Benaiah. The son of Jeel. The son of Mataniah. A Levite of the sons of Asaph. Came the 
Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. Whilst they were fasting and praying and crying out to God, the Bible says the Holy Ghost came upon Jehaziel. That mighty anointing came upon that man of God. And listen to what happened in verse 15. And he said, he was unction and empowered by the Holy Spirit to declare the prophetic word of God to God's people who were in a time of great need and great distress. Because the real word of God brings comfort. The real word of God brings peace. The real word of God brings direction. The real word of God brings correction. It brings discipline. It brings encouragement. It brings breakthrough. The real word of God. Preach under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You can feel the anointing coming off the word of God being preached. You can feel the I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. Hallelujah. Come on and lift your hands to heaven and thank him for the word. Thank you for men and women of God in this generation that's anointed by the Holy Ghost to declare to you what thus said the Lord. Hey, glory to God. I feel the anointing. Hey, hey, hey. I feel somebody getting a breakthrough right here. Someone's getting a victory. Someone's getting a turnaround. Somebody just got the victory over the devil, over his lies, over his schemes, over his temptation. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. God is on your side. No weapon that's formed against you will be able to prosper. And every tongue, Sakatalaba, Rakatalama, and Dolobosha. I said, every tongue, help me preach for five minutes. I said, every tongue that rise up against you in judgment, it shall be condemned. Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The Bible declares when the enemy comes against you like a flood, the spirit of the living God will raise up a standard against him. Somebody shout yes. Oh yes, my Bible declares that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but out of them all, the Lord delivers him. I'm preaching to some righteous people right now. You're going through turmoil. You're going through trials. You're going through tribulations. But the Holy Ghost sent me to tell you, God will. I say, God will. I dare you to open your mouth and say, God will deliver you out of them all. I stop by to tell somebody that's been in bondage to the devil, the snare is broken and you can escape. Your help is in the name of the Lord which made the heavens and the earth. My Bible declares that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous, they run their in and they are safe. Somebody shout yes. Even when I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I fear no evil because God is with me. David said, God is on my side. Why should I fear what man can do unto me? I'm going to look to the hills from which cometh my help. My help, it comes from the Lord. So Jehaziel, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, begin to prophesy to King Jehoshaphat and all Judah. He said, fear not, Jehoshaphat and all Judah. 
this battle is not yours it belongs to the Lord that means you coming out more than a conqueror you coming out the victor and not the victim you coming out blessed and not cursed the head and not the tail above all and not beneath blessed coming in bless going out bless in the city bless in the field everything you put your hands on somebody shout bless shout bless shout bless shout bless shout bless i'm blessed i'm blessed god is on my side god is on your side it's working together for your good because you love God and you are called according to his purpose shout somebody hey I feel the Holy Ghost you coming out of it you're coming out you're coming out you're coming out devil don't shout yet don't rejoice yet um, it's not over they crucified Jesus they killed him they murdered him in cold blood he was buried in a borrowed tomb and for three days he lay there but on the third day the Bible says the power of the Holy Ghost descended and an angel move the stone from out of the way and he arose he came alive God brought Jesus from out of the grave I stopped by to tell somebody that with God absolutely nothing shall be impossible somebody help me give him a praise help me praise him help me praise him Hey, Sakandana Hallelujah. Hey, I feel victory. Somebody ought to run through your house. Somebody shout. Somebody go to praise in him. I feel something breaking. I feel a shifting. I feel something turning. God is making the thing work together for your good. The devil meant it for your harm. He meant it for your evil. But God just stepped in. It's working together. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. Listen, we want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. To do so, you can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. Info at seanpinder.net. If you give that way, make sure send us an email with your name and mailing address for tax purposes you can also give through the ministry cash app account the ministry's cash app address is the dollar sign sean pinder ministries the dollar sign sean pinder ministries you can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to sean pinder ministries p.o box 2726 mckinney texas 75070. Never forget, me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We appreciate you. We believe in God with you for your miracle, for your breakthrough, and for your turnaround. Tune in again on tomorrow morning for another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you. Bye-bye.